Good morning everybody, it's a windy day in Perth today. Uh, we've come to look at a Lego exhibition in the local museum. Um, I don't know if it'll be any good, but it's been advertised in the paper, so I just thought I'd come along and check it out. Um, so yeah, the sun's out, but it is very windy. Right, that was the Lego exhibition at the Perth Museum and Art Gallery. Now, it was okay. I mean, there was two rooms, basically. And the first room, as you saw, was just a few um, exhibitions. And the second room was just like a film show with kids playing with Lego. <laughs> so, yeah, we had to pay £4 to get in. So, but, you know, there was a few good... Um, which got but not buildings but Lego things there. So there was one of St Pancras Station, which was awesome. That must have taken ages to build. Um, but that was about it, really. The rest were just like kind of just put together packs of Lego. So wasn't that impressed? It was okay. I'm glad I went to see it. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of ten on the Lego Ometer. Uh, so it came all this way and only took like twenty minutes to go around. But never fear. I'm now going to go back to Dundee. And I've got a picnic with me, and I think I'm going to go to Camperdown Park now and see the bears because there's new bears at Camperdown Park. So it's another pay to get in exhibit, but uh, hopefully the sun will stay out. It's actually really warm now. So, yes, let's get on to Camperdown Park. Arrive dans le parc de Campadown. Let's just hope the bears are out today. I'm gonna to have a sandwich first. I've got some sandwiches here, so I'll have a cheese and onion chutney roll, a cup of coffee, and then we're heading to see if the bears are there. Well, that's my new car, folks, in case anybody hasn't seen it. Give us a wave if you see me going past. Right, it's very windy. We are in five pounds to get in, but hopefully the bears will be worth it. Now the guy said that the bears are out all the time, they're quite energetic, and the old bear died, the male bear, but the female bear that was originally here has now been put in with the new bears. So it's seemingly it's just all very new to all the bears. They're very inquisitive at the moment. So um, let's go straight to the bear shelter, the bear hut, the bear cage. I don't know what it's called. There's emus, was it an ostrich? Don't know. This is great so far folks, there's nobody here. Um, I'm gonna come back and see the animals on the way past. Um, I'm just going straight to the bears, in case it does get busy. And then we'll come back and look at the other stuff as well. But yes, excellent, hopefully there's, hopefully there's nobody at the bears, but no doubt there'll be a queue. Be like the pandas. Oh, I can see one. I can see one. Oh, but there's people there. I'm 
those awesome folks who are fighting right beside me, just play fighting. So this is the, um, the window that you can set and watch them close up. But the minute the other two are just, uh, one's in the tree and one's just lounging about. I think that's the original bear, that one, that's the old bear. So she's been put back in with the new ones. So that one in the tree. And then the other two that we've seen playing down there. They're the new ones. Let's hope they come up to the window. Oh, it's the poor old bear. She's missing her pal. Which is all on her own. And the other ones are way down there playing. Oh, that's quite sad. She's a way to we have a lie down. He's right here, folks. Look, he's right here. Interesting folks, that was a guy from the Friends of Camptown Wildlife Park. They gave me the whole history of the bears and how they got here and all the old bears that used to be here too. He's a really nice guy. So I'm gonna like his page on Facebook and share it on our Facebook page. Um, that cage behind me, that one there, that's where the old bear used to be, Jeremy. Um, but Jeremy was a woman bear, a lady bear. And uh, that's the one that featured on the um, Sugar Puffs advert but uh, something happened in the 70s where a wee kid put their arm through the cage and his arm got pulled off with a bear. It was just in that big cage there. That's where the bears used to get kept, which is a shame. He's escaped here, oh no! Somebody that one of the lemurs has escaped. Don't think it's meant to be there, but I'm going to tell somebody. The car, folks. Now, before I forget, that lemur, um, the lemur seemingly is allowed to escape. I went and told the woman behind the counter, and she goes, "Yes, he's fine. He, um, he escapes all the time, seemingly. So he's safe and he's okay. And he gets his own way back into the cage. 
So that whole experience, I would give that an 8 out of 10. That was very enjoyable. Um, stood and watched the bears there for ages, playing about and getting fed and then spoke to that man. And then there's a few other animals there, but not much really worth seeing. The wolves are quite good. And all the other things are just like little kind of tortoises and owls and stuff like that. But um, £5 that cost to get in there. But no, I think that was worth it. I think £5 to see bears and wolves and things is well worth the money. So nine, yeah, nine pound I spent today, nine pound. So adding the two marks together, yes, 12 and a half out of 20 for today. That's what today's score is. Now, on the way home, I've got to go to Asda, get some shopping, so I better go now.